So, episode three. Like I said before, it flows like a TV show. It doesn't flow like the source material is a novel. It's also not like the source material is a comic book or a graphic novel. It's like a TV series. And that would be fine by itself, actually. I prefer other formats, usually, but this kind of format can work well if it's done right. Like I said in the other review, this kind of has elements similar to Lost, which is fine if I can watch it with that kind of mindset. It's the reason why I was able to enjoy the female Ghostbusters movie. Put on the right mindset, it's enjoyable. And that's how I felt about episodes one and two of Rings of Power. Episode three has really stumped me. I just can't stand Galadriel. I simply don't like her. And she's kind of like a female version of Horatio Kane, You know, David Caruso on CSI. Saying some sort of one-liner before he puts on his sunglasses. And, and no, she obviously doesn't have sunglasses, but she's so sure of everything she says. And that every word she says is so important. And that everyone else is wrong. Everyone's supposed to listen to her because she's this mythical person, apparently. With nothing that they show us on the screen to back that kind of thing up. She's unkind, she's mean-spirited, she treats everyone like they're stupid unless she thinks she can get something from them. And she never proves her fighting abilities on camera. At least not so far. I mean, other than that tuck and roll from the, the first two episodes, right? We're just supposed to believe that she has some sort of legacy. And you know, I understand not wanting to focus on the fighting scenes. I'm the guy that will sometimes forward the fighting scenes in movies when they get too, they, they take too long to happen, right? But this goes too far the other way. There's nothing for me to see what a great warrior she's supposed to be. I had to chuckle a little bit when I read that the actress that plays Galadriel had to go through something called exposure therapy in order to handle the action scenes on the movie, on, the, on this series. Exposure therapy is where you basically have to stand and hold yourself strong and not flinch while a whole bunch of people are coming at you. You know, she's supposed to be a warrior, not a victim. But she doesn't come off as a warrior on screen. At least not up to the point of episode three, anyway. She just comes off as having a nasty attitude. Yeah, as I said before, having a nasty attitude isn't what makes a good warrior. I think one of the biggest problems with this was the casting. I mean, yeah, they should have chosen someone who's pretty, but they should have been more like a tough lesbian. A beautiful, tough lesbian kind of character. Not someone who looks like they'd scream if they saw a mouse scurrying on the set. Now, if the plan is to have a storyline where Galadriel becomes a better and better person as time goes on, she grows as a person, okay, that'd be great. You know, something that shows she has emotions other than revenge and constantly being annoyed at everything. You know, if, if it showed she's growing as a person, that would make this much more watchable. And potentially enjoyable. I doubt that's the direction they're going to go, though. How Nori gets treated by the other Harfoots is a bit of a disappointment as well. The entire Harfoot culture is kind of a disappointment for me. It's a little over the top in certain areas, and that didn't really kick in until, I mean, at least not fully, until episode three. So they really sucked me in with episodes one and two, but they really lost me on episode three. Yeah, I think it took me almost two weeks to watch the entire episode three. The first two I watched twice. They're trying to suck people into episode four by showing a bunch of action scenes at the end of episode three. Yes, killing people from the wave motions of chains, okay. But overall, you're supposed to want to know what happens to the Don Lemon-looking dude. I give this episode a four out of ten. I was disappointed, but it's also not terrible. It's watchable. We'll see if I watch the rest of them.